crucified, O Christ our God, and trampled death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Please let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Радісно заспіваємо Господеві, Воскликні Богу Спасителеві нашому. Спаси нас, Сину Божий, Що воскрес із мертві співаємо тобі. Аллилуйя! Відім з похвалами перед обличчя Його, І псайми ми воскликнім Йому. Спаси на Сину Божий, що воскрес із мертві співаємо тобі, Аллилуйя. Бо Бог великий Господь, і цар великий по всій землі. Спаси на Сину Божий, що воскрес із мертві співаємо тобі, Аллилуйя. Вийдіть, поклонімся і припадів до Христа. Спаси на Сину Божий, що воскрес із мертві співаємо собі. Аллилуйя! By your cross you destroyed death, you opened paradise to the thief. You changed the lamentation of the murderers to joy and charge the apostles to proclaim that you are risen, O Christ our God, offering great mercy to the world. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to your faithful people against enemies and protect your community by your cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. No longer does the flaming sword guard the gate of Eden. The tree of the cross has quenched its flames gloriously. The sting of death and the victory of Hades are banished. And you, O oh my Savior, came and call to those in Hades, return again to paradise. Lord, you are God, our Father, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. To your cross, O Master, we bow in
be our banter. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Unto you I will cry, O Lord my God, lest you turn from me in silence. Wisdom. A reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our profession of faith, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who was tempted in every way that we are, yet never sinned. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and favor and to find help in time of need. <clears throat> every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with erring sinners for he himself is beset by weaknesses, and so must make sin offerings for himself, as well as for the people. One does not take this honor on his own initiative, but only when called upon by God, as Aaron was. Even Christ did not glorify him with the office of high priest. He received it from the one who said to him, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Just as he says in other place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Peace to you, reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The movies. Chetania is posto nyeshe to posto pala do you pray? Bratia, my vechi veliko horhi reja, shu prišo nebo, Isusa, sila Božjeho, trimajmo še tvrdo viro vezmanje. Po me ne majemo takoho arhijereja, ki ne mih bi spivčuvati vašem neduhom. Vinč zaznal všeho podibno, jak i me, krim hriha. Prestopim oče z dovirjem do prestolu blagodati, če bo treba te milosrdi znajti lasku na svoji častu pomeč. Kožen boja arhijerej vžati z pomeč ljudej, nastanovljaječe dla ljudej v spravah Božjeh što prenosil dare ta žetve za hrihe, što bi mih spivčuvati netjavoščem in zabludom, bo i sam bi nebeči ohopljeni. I tomu maje jak za ljudej, tak i za sebe samoho prenosite žetve za hrihe. Česte s cijeji nikto ne bere sam sobi, le še toj, kto poklekani Bogom, jak Aron. Tak i Hristos sam sobi ne presvojil slavu vstate arhijerejem, v onavi toho, je kaj do njoho pomolil, te mi sin, ja še hodni rodi v tebe, ja ki na inšmu misi kaže, ti še še ne te vike, kučenu velki se neka. Ne bi mu bi zbudno vlažni. Aleluja! Whoever loses his life for my sake 
and the gospel say go to a surgeon? What profit does a man show who gains the whole world and destroys himself in the process? What can a man offer in exchange for his life? That one in this faithless and corrupt age is ashamed of me and my doctrine. The Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes with the holy angels in Father's glory. He also said to them, I assure you among those standing here, there are some who will not taste that until they see the reign of God established in all of our world. So when, many times I am very proud of, you know, uh, Neanderthal, that's the most 
beautiful uh, nature God created it. And I found it that one, this is not. So we can take steps. Please sign your petition, go to our bulletin online. It just takes you a few minutes, a few seconds. This may be the last time you are able to speak out. And we pray that they do not extend euthanasia to people who are mentally ill, who are depressed, and who are not able to understand who would uh, uh, make a decision for them. So, uh, so again, um, go to the bulletin, you will find this. Uh, it's a citizen's go, no euthanasia for medically assisted, uh, assistance in death. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In today's gospel that I read from the Mark, Christ says those powerful words. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself to take up his cross and follow me. If you go to just a plain English dictionary, deny means to refuse, it means to reject, it means to repudiate or to declare something untrue. If we limit ourselves to these definitions, we do actually injustice to the deeper meaning of Christian self-denial. For really for a clear picture of what Jesus means, we must return to the original Greek text. And the Greek is apranisto, and that is that it has the remaining meaning of renunciation and the absolute rejection of whatever is incompatible with Jesus' plan salvation for us. There are those of us who have really a, a narrow and limited understanding of self-denial. We pick, we choose at random what we will give up and what we will do in the name of Christianity. We proceed to the label, to label them our little crosses we must bear. I'll give up movies and or indeed you're in black. Wow, I'm doing such a big thing. Therefore, we conclude with a list of really something that is very, very ins insignificant, or the list of insignificances that we have, that have no bearing on the self-denial. Jesus speaks about in our gospel lesson today. So Christ-like self-denial goes much deeper. He penetrates the mass which hides our hidden sins, our shortcomings, and our faults. Complete self-denial does not mean depriving ourselves of the necessities for life. Nor does it mean we must become poor person and live in rags. Neither does it mean we must lose our own identity, personality, or individuality. When Jesus speaks of a total and complete denial of self, he means we must subordinate our ego that prohibits us from being the children of God we were intended to be. God's intentions, good intentions are nice, but they are not enough. This is why Christ says, if anyone wants to follow me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Take up your cross and follow me means to get started on our journey to salvation. If the road we are on does not have God's eternal kingdom as its destination, then we better U-turn and find a right path. Taking up our cross and following Christ means trying harder when those moments of misfortune or even tragedy, sorrow and loss, and grief of our loved ones. It means bringing under control our uncontrollable, sometimes anger, or our unnecessary insensitivity, our impatience and our lack of recklessness. It means subduing our temperament and disposition so that we can master them rather than their, their mastering us. There's another reason this gospel passage is read in the Divine Liturgy on the third Sunday of Lent, halfway through. If you go to the books and you know there's a, a 
first uh, made uh, uh, the books that describe the reading uh, and Sinaxerion or Oracles, uh, the books that, you know, uh, which follow the, the readings for the day or for the piece and so on. You would actually uh, say the, you would find the description for today. On this, the third Sunday of Lent, we observe the veneration of the precious and light green cross. And for this reason, inasmuch as in the 40 days of fasting, we, in a way, crucify ourselves and become bitter, despondent, and failing. The light green cross is presented to us for spiritual refreshment and assurance, for remembrance of our Lord's passion and for comfort. Let those who are following a long and boring path are tired. See a beautiful tree with many leaves. They would sit in its shade and rest for a while, and then, as if rejuvenated, they would continue their journey. Likewise today, in the time of fasting and difficult journey and effort, the Lion Green Cross was planted in the midst by the Holy Fathers of the Church to give rest and spiritual refreshment to make us wise and courageous for the remaining task. So Christ comforts us, who are as if we were in the desert. He will lead us up to the spiritual Jerusalem by his resurrection. Just as the precious cross, which is also called the tree of life, was planted in the middle of paradise, so our Holy Fathers planted the cross in the middle of the Holy Land as a sacred reminder of both Adam's bliss and how he was deprived of it. Remembering also that by partaking of this tree of life, the precious and life in cross, we no longer die, but we are kept alive. St. John Chrysostom, Divine Liturgy, every time we are in church, this is Divine Liturgy or the Holy Mass, we uh, participate in it. Fourth century patriarch of Constantinople described the cross this way. The cross is the proof of the love of God. The cross is the unshaken wall, the, the unconquered weapon, the kingdom of virtue. The cross has torn apart our death and rendered useless the prison of death. The cross has opened paradise. It has admitted the thief and has guided the human race from impending disaster to the kingdom of God. Beautiful description. So Christ extends his invitation to us once again to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. Our church gives us this third Sunday of Lent, midpoint to Golgotha, to pause with Christ to refresh ourselves spiritually, to assess our lengthy journey, and to continue with greater determination. But the initiative is still ours. There is no way we can arrive to Easter Sunday if we do not live to agonize of all our good Friday. There is no way we can achieve eternal life with God unless we deny ourselves completely and totally in Christ. So do this. This we do when we endure and sustain our own personal cross, crosses and follow. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Let us all say with our Lord so whole mind, let us say Lord have mercy.
Troici, Troici, Trecia Tuiu, Pisniu spivajuce, Și-a cu neni, neni jetescu, And his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with your lovely attention to offer peace the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. The love of God, the Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with all of you. And with your spirit, we have lifted them to right and just to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in being and undivided. And all of your peace, Miss Divine, to the church, is the rising of thy Sanctified temple and spiritual paradise, virgins pride and boast, from whom God has made flesh and became a little child, and he who is our God before all ages. He made your womb a throne, and he made it wider than all the heavens. In you, O full of grace, all creation rejoices. Glory be to you. On this right to remember, Lord, 
confess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. Approach to the throne of God and we pray. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God the Lord has a pleasure to the Lord. Praise the Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ.
Seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 